what i has in this a major problem in kerala where i live so finding a solution felt natural to me during the rajiv circle fellowship asha jadeja learned about my project idea and immediately saw its potential she believed in it and generously supported the first phase of research allowing me to take my concept forward my initial research was conducted in spain where i explored ways to transform water hyacinth into viable biomaterials my primary goal was to develop an alternative to leather from water hyacinth which i successfully achieved in the process i also created a range of other materials including cat litter compress boards and packaging paper i also conducted extensive material experimentation even integrating water hyacinth into 3d printing back home i wanted to refine the materials further and explore their real world applications i launched a community project collaborating with local artisans from jawahar center talevela parambu to create products that offer both environmental and economic benefits the project has since been showcased at international exhibitions and has been recognized through multiple awards i also received mentorship from the royal academy of engineering uk which helped me scale the project and amplify its impact through the uk partnership I'm also continuing my research on water hyacinth to refine the biomaterials. Currently, I'm working on scaling the project by setting up a manufacturing unit with the Jawahar Center. This step will not only really help mitigate the environmental challenges posed by water hyacinth, but also generate sustainable livelihoods. There were a few bumps initially, as with any ambitious project, um, but Asha and uh, the Motu Nijaneja Foundation were patient and supportive throughout this process. I'm really hoping to make this project, Pola project, uh, a huge success and create a long-lasting impact in the world. Hi, this is Asha Jadeja. Uh, I'm delighted to uh, mention here that I'm the first investor in the Pola project, uh, started by uh, Nandita, and uh, I am uh, super excited that uh, this project has finally taken off. It had a few hiccups in the beginning, but that happens in every startup. and the reason for investing in this project uh, uh, is is that i find that it, uh, it it can be a very powerful leather substitute and for all of us who are interested in uh, animal rights and in just in humanity and in you know in the in humane treatment of animals um, to find something that is usually scalable uh, that can replace leather uh, and uh, you know in in making uh, goods for human consumption i think it's just a worthwhile moral project to do and i'm i'm honored and humbled to be part of this journey uh, and i wish uh, pola project the very best and i hope it becomes a global a globally acceptable uh, alternative to leather so uh, onwards and i'm excited to be part of this journey